So I kind of just threw my hair in this weird bun back here. I feel like I'm about to start my period because my skin is just not doing its best. My chin's breaking out. I've always had the worst habit of picking at my skin because although it's painful, it's also satisfying. Today is a productive day, but it's also just like a fun day at the same time. I'm still moving into this house. Like there are a lot of things I still have to do, but for today, I am gonna get groceries because I haven't had groceries. I think I'm actually gonna wave my hair today. So that way I can actually style it for once and it looks cute on camera because most of the time it looks like I just got out of bed and picked up the camera, which typically is the case to be honest. But today I do wanna look cute, be put together. I'm not gonna lie guys, my room is a mess. By the way, this is today's small YouTuber shout out of the day. If you guys are interested in receiving one as well, you guys can just comment that down below. Anyways, my big, my beautiful big Maya Stifler threw out there. She got me a hair oil by Jisoo, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm like, you guys are seeing all this mess behind me and you guys are probably like, Michaela, you just moved in. You are not making a mess already. Just trust the process, guys. It'll all come together soon. I've been eyeing this hair oil for a while now and I'm gonna just add a little bit on before I wave my hair. <laughs> crazy so i'm gonna like try to calm it down because it's really poofy i just finished my makeup i feel really pretty right now oh so we're gonna go we're gonna do some grocery shopping right now why is there a fly how did you get in here get out before i head out i'm gonna show you guys the outfit that i'm wearing today it's a little bit interesting that's today's outfit. I think it's cute. Very much appreciate the grandma aesthetic. This is our outfit to go grocery shopping. I'm not being lazy today. I'm walking over here. And I know what you're thinking. Michaela, there's only like 20 steps either way. The idea of not having to walk as far when you are done with all your bags and stuff, which actually thinking about it now is maybe not the best idea. You actually do look like such a woman. In a good or a bad way. Look at you, you got a tote bag. What are you gonna do? Are you actually recording? Yeah, it's recording. Oh, I'm making this pasta for us. It's the Gigi Hadid pasta, and I'm getting all the ingredients so far. My teeth look? No, it no, was not. Okay, guys, we're back from grocery shopping. We went to both Target and Sprouts. And let me just say, grocery shopping at least takes you like two to three hours because, at least for me, I'm very slow with it. I literally go at like a grandma pace when I'm walking through the aisles and everything. We got a bunch of things because I got ingredients for the Gigi Hadid pasta, some from like Target and both from Sprouts. Sprouts, they're good for pro Produce, so like everything's pretty cheap there with like strawberries, blueberries, and all like the fruit. But when it comes to everything else, pasta, rice, everything's kind of healthy there too, so it's more expensive. You wanna say hi, DJ? <laughs> Random, but we got some pumpkin-shaped sugar cookie dough. We're not even in the fall season. Also got some sourdough bread for sandwiches, turkey breast, two avocados, because avocados nowadays are really expensive, which is just perfect. Some syrup, lemonade. This is caramel oat latte by this brand, which I've seen a lot. Oops. Mm. Oh, that's really bad. Maybe I'm supposed to put this in something. No, it's, it's cold brew itself. I like that brand, like California Farm. That's my favorite oat milk and like... Do you want to try it? Mm. No. Well, missed on that one anyways. We got some Texas toast with the pasta. Pasta, obviously. I used to eat pasta all the time. For lunch, like I'd make pasta in elementary school. That was my lunch. I would make it every morning. Literally Parmesan cheese on top of it with like salt and pepper. Lots of pepper. We got marinara sauce. Some cheeses, Parmesan and mild cheddar. This is for grilled cheeses. More ingredients. This is heavy whipping cream. Two tomato paste. Super random. It's a basil plant. It serves great purpose. Literally, this is perfect for the pots I'm gonna make. I think you can like just it just continuously grows and you have unlimited amount of basil, which who doesn't want that? My sister recommended this pancake mix. It's the Power Cakes Flapjack waffle mix. It's 14 grams of protein per serving. That's a lot. 
blueberries, raspberries. These will go in my chia puddings that I probably make overnight oats also. Bananas, strawberries. These are two for five, so I thought I might as well just grab two of them. This is a hack because I tend to let my fruit go to waste. If you do have like leftover strawberries and some of them are about to go old, you could cut them up, just freeze them. That way you can use them in smoothies. I also got this Greek yogurt vanilla chobani. Maybe this with like granola and then like the rest of the fruit. So these are all stuff that I'm planning to use for breakfast just because I don't really make breakfast regularly, which is something I want to start doing more often. White peaches, very underrated fruit. Tomato and onions, you don't really need to see this. Lettuce. I don't really know the difference between some lettuces, like what's organic? Organic lettuce, romaine lettuce. The last thing I got was coconut milk and I saw someone make chia pudding with the coconut milk. So you know what? This is what I'm going to try to attempt. See if it tastes good. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to put on a... That's my haul for today. I'm gonna start putting all this stuff away. Guys, look how big this onion is. I'm giving myself a little rest break. My boyfriend put this on, but they left to go get food, even though I'm not even watching Stranger Things. I don't know what's happening, so I'm not gonna watch this for right now. The next day, honestly, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to yesterday, but that's okay because that's what today is for. I wanted to unbox some things that I got sent from Caseify because I honestly personally love unboxings. They sent over these Stranger Things like their new collection, which I think is super cool. This video ironically ended up being sponsored by, you probably guessed it, Caseify. I was already excited enough as it was to just receive a package from them. First, let me show you guys some of the cases that I got. This is the one that I just put on my phone. It's literally the cutest thing. There's like some dust coming down here. I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually customize your case. Cases, so I obviously just put my name on it. This one on my case currently is just a regular impact case. The impact cases provide 6.6 .6 feet drop protection and they're also made of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. One of my favorites because I think this color is just stunning. All right, let's switch these two because I want to see this one on my... Oh my God, that makes my phone look huge. I actually really like that one on this phone. I think I might keep this one for now because it just looks so clean and sleek. These two, which are... I mean, they're equally as beautiful. This one is literally just this aura little gradient, I think. This one is actually the Ultra Impact case. In this case, it actually has a 9.8 feet drop protection. We also have this one, which this one's like... This is adorable. It says, you are exactly where you need to be. Just like the little hearts with the smiley faces on it are just adorable. I've always loved Caseify for their variety of designs. There's literally something for everyone from inspirational quotes to adorable looking designs to even all their customizable cases. I ended up customizing one of their pillowcases with my name and a heart with a sparkle, which I didn't even know they added these features. So I might have added to cart and bought immediately. Caseify's cases actually feature a Defensify antimicrobial coating, which kills 99% of bacteria. Their cases are also non-toxic and non-hazardous. We're gonna do a job test. I find them so interesting. I'm like, where are you dropping this from? If I could, I would go drop it from like the roof of my house right now, but I'm not gonna do that. You're gonna drop your phone? It's case of five. 9.8 feet job test. So we're gonna do, I don't really, um, so I don't really know what six feet is. I feel like five. I like three. <laughs> so funny. Beep, beep. All right, let's just drop. Wow. That was not a We're good to go, we're good to go. Let's do the ultra okay. impact. Look at that. Brian, you have any case to my case. They're really good. I used to drop my phone like all the time. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it survived. That was really bad. I hope you guys saw that. That was like really intense. There's our drop test for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. By the way, you guys can actually get 15% off your first order with my promotional link that is just up here. Please, guys, go do yourself a favor and go buy yourself a case to five case. Giselle did crack her screen and I said, you need to go get yourself a case to five case because we are not having that issue. I'm gonna make a quick sandwich. I decided I am gonna make the pasta tomorrow for dinner. Personally, I think I make a really good basic sandwich and I feel like it always turns out good. I'm a big vegetable girl, so I love tomatoes, onions, and lettuce, but I feel like what makes the sandwich 
quality is the seasoning and the sauces you use. So I love starting off with some chipotle mayo with pepper, chili powder seasoning, and garlic seasoning. Love some onion powder as well. Then I top it off with olive oil and it really just hits every time. All right, I just made my sandwich. It's very simple. I definitely love an easy and simple meal, but I want to branch out and learn how to make more things. So definitely DM me some of your favorite meals, recipes that you make at home. But I'm really hungry now and I'm going to eat. You can smell it. You can smell. Bernie, you have to stop cussing on this. I'm sorry. Apologies to her fans. Yeah. The Maginators. The Maginators. This is my public apology mm -hmm. to the Magnin. Maglalator. Mag 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> Come to this segment that we're gonna call Cooking with the. It looks like too tight. Yeah, it, it does look a little small. You're just not recording. Why not? You're part of the quality content. I do not. While he makes his cookies, I will be making my pasta. Dude, I love their knives. It's so fun to cut with. <laughs> You know how people chop, they cut their onions like Yeah, Well, unfortunately our lights are just not functioning with us <laughs> Look how cute this is Look at that Oh my god <laughs> I'm repping Pokemon. Am I armpit sweating? It's been like a minute later since I filmed whatever I filmed last. I'm looking at my room. It's kind of in the process of going through a makeover, so I can't really show you my room or anything, but I can show you my desk because it's finished. Look how it looks now versus in the video that I just posted. It looks flawless, so just know sometimes things are fake. Things may look perfectly done, and then the next second, it's like kind of messy. And for the next few days, I just have a lot of things to get done. First things first that we're gonna do is actually do some little like self-care because my eyebrows look at them this is actually the worst that they've looked which means it's gonna be a very satisfying before and after because I just think they, they really need some work done all right let's go <laughs> Ernie, judge the eyebrows. What do you think about them? Mine still do look better. Um, probably job. I'm gonna give him a nine out of ten. Look at his eyebrows, guys. Wow. Let's. Well, these are like not really shaped. They're still quality. Quality over quantity. In, so. in your instance, it's quantity over quality because you have very thick pretty eyebrows so she did the eyebrows obviously they look a little bit cleaned up and i like how she kind of did this shape because i don't really like when my eyebrows are like box like shape there's a certain shape that my eyebrows naturally are and i don't like it i like when people add a little bit of like curve and then i got my nails done actually obsessed with them i'm gonna show you guys better pictures and better lighting look just look how pretty these are so i did the chrome look that has been really popular i don't really like the shape sorry Sorry, I was using you as a tripod. I don't really like the shade that people use for like the Hailey Bieber now. So I got this like very pretty pink color. And honestly, I was kind of debating on even just sticking with the pink shade that was on my nails before the chrome went on it because it was such a pretty pink. It's in the shade Bubble Bath and I don't know if that's like a universal shade at all nail salons. Anyways, I do have some chores to do and then my go to Ikea later actually to shop for some furniture. I've been on like four different ikea trips in the midst of this entire moving process <laughs> start your computations i like this it's kind of expensive though, but it's cute oh i want that mirror oops sorry Plant garden going in my bag. 
I thought a little hanging plant would be super cute on these hooks. So at Ikea, obviously, I picked up a bunch. I have this one. This is the kind of idea that I have going. getting this mirror from ikea it's a large circle mirror with like a wooden a light wooden finish super cute and then i'm gonna attempt to mount it onto that wall right there still iffy i just ended up switching for this one which i don't really know if i like it either like i kind of just like this singular one on its own so I currently have my dad here right now and he's putting up the mirror for me. I think I'm also going to get a fish today, guys. I am thinking to add a little fishy in my room because he would be a cute little addition. And I can practice maintaining something along with all my plants as well. Also playing it and watching some things. It's a little loud in here. Go. We've arrived at PetSmart. I think this is what we're gonna get because they're easy to manage. I don't think they need salt water either. This one's pretty good. Hi there. He's very intense looking. This blue one is so pretty. Guys, look how cute this tank is. It's rose gold. But this one is the one that I'm looking at that I feel like just would match the entire aesthetic of my room, which maybe I should not be thinking about because we're thinking about the fish. Some fish tacos. I like the octopus. So cute. It's the front end a fish taco. He has fish, fish tacos. Fish tacos. <gasps> Isn't that cannibalism? No! Or that's fish so true. Fishabilism. Fish and then he has some pink little rocks and his fish food. All the rocks are washed now. Dash a digit, the schedule busy, my head in a hoodie, my shorty a goodie, my cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. Been All right, so today's the day that the Pip meets his new home. I also figured out he is a male, which um it does say that right there. Me and she held it down, so she got a Mercedes. No money records, the army, the navy. Oh my gosh, he already came out. Foreign is yellow, like Tracy and Katie. I trust him. I just got back from the post office. If you're wondering why I look so greasy and sweaty and gross. I was there for like 40 minutes, but I thought it was gonna be like a 20 minute trip. Started off by getting some boxes, packaged up the things that I needed to package up for my giveaway winners. And that in itself was just a difficult process. It was mostly because I sat in my car without it turned on and just sweated my ass off. Meanwhile, I am struggling to like package up these boxes. On top of that, I ended up having to undo one of them anyways, because if it was in a different box it was gonna be cheaper like significantly cheaper i ended up having to take all the stuff out and then repackage something our total today came out to 175 dollars it did shock me a little bit honestly i kind of stood there for a while and was like these are going to people who not only support me but just may need these things in their life and i think that's something that brings warmth to my heart anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i can't wait to update you guys on like my room and everything because it's really coming together anyways i will see you guys in the next one, hugs and kisses. Bye!